And we're rolling in progress. Animals galore down here. I'm going to close the door. In the light. Down into the palm. Oh, what are you doing? And into the pants of the pinky. And the thumb. And down to the wrist. And up to the knuckles. And let's take the ball in one hand and squeeze. And then the other. And back to the first. And then the other. And let's go around the back. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And hinge at the waist and go through the legs. And switch. Look. Looking at the dog. And switch. Who wants to chase the ball, I think. And switch. And uh, leave the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet feel. You're going to take my ball and step on the ball three times right in the middle of the foot. Move up to the knuckles and press down once on each. Roll across the knuckles. And bring the ball to the top of the heel and pivot on the toes. Press down just below the first knuckle at the side of the top of the heel and in the middle of the fifth minute toss. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. And release, reassess, go to the other foot. Pressing down three times, going up to the knuckles and pressing. Roll across the knuckles. And roll across the top of the heel. Press down in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one. Get that ball out of the way. And the straight tree. Oh, my golly. Oh, 
my cat is drinking my coffee, which it does not need to do. Three, two, one, center, twist at the waist. Swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out together in starlight. And center, same thing in the other direction. Center. And let's take 16 or so steps forward. And then elbow towards the knee. And then slap the heel in front. And then behind. And uh, cross step with a twist. And then we'll just walk or march or jog. So it's Monday. We're going to do the uh, Zach Bush or with or without weights. Lots. Um, lots in that, so I wouldn't do squats. I think I'm going to run myself, but do whatever feels right for you, including exactly what you're doing. Get the heart rate going. And we got some rolling in the after class. And I will get started. 
in five, four, three, two, one, two. Ten. Twenty. And thirty. And take a couple of breaths. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up overhead. Alternatively, you could grab a bone and lie down. Uh, but if you're with me, you're either up on your toes or not. If you are, come down. And back, if you can. Come back to center and bend in one direction. And then the other. Yeah, come back to center. Lower the hands in front and push out. And come down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and bring the hands up. A little higher. And come on down and shrug. Roll back with your shoulders. And roll forward. Spin your arms and rotate. And go the other way. Bring one arm across the body, press in at or above the elbow. And then the other. Bring the first arm behind the back and press down and in. And then the other. Make a W and squeeze. And release and squeeze. Release, squeeze one more time. And release, uh, interlace your fingers behind your back and bring your elbows back to open the chest. Couple of breaths. <laughs> One more. We have both elbows and rock side to side. Extend one arm with the fingers up, pull back on the fingers.
Fingers down. And flop the wrist, wiggle the fingers, make a fist. And extend up. Down. And flop, wiggle, fist, wiggle, fist. Come on down and rotate the head. Other direction. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. And oh, let's grab a stick. You want to put the stick inside the arch or next to the arch of one foot. The other foot is out to the side and bend at the knee to stretch the abductors. And then go the other way. And come on up. Extend one foot in front, bring the stick behind. Into the waist and lean into it. Come on up, press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then bring the other foot in front. Stick behind, lean into it. Keep the spine neutral. Head up. And then the stick in front. Rest the sole of the foot. Come on up. Going to bring the stick behind the back, parallel to the spine, and go up and down. And then switch the position of the hands. Continue going up and down. And then bring the stick up overhead. And go back and forth. And then bring the stick to the shoulders with the palms facing in. And we'll do 10 bicep curls.
and then reverse the position of the hands so the palms are facing out. Drop the stick below the waist, hinge at the waist, let the stick drop as low as it'll go, but keep your uh, spine neutral, and then come up and down 10 times. Keep your head back. And then bring the stick up to the shoulders and go up overhead. And then down below the waist again, and bring the elbows up to the shoulders. Keep it at the shoulders and push out. And then bring the stick behind the back with the palms facing away from the body and lift behind you 10 times. Switch the position of the hands so the palms are facing in and do it another 10. Bring the stick up through the crook of the elbows and twist it the way. And then bring the stick around to the front. Hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two, step back. Come up on your toes for a second, back on your heels for a second, do about 15. And when you're done, put the stick down and if you're using something in your hands, run them. If not, body weight is perfectly good. We are going to do four exercises as usual. One is the squat. Just go as low as feels comfortable for you. Raise around the clock, either outside or inside, and presses. We'll move uh, the um, squat around in the sequence. We're gonna do 10 reps each time. We're gonna do three rounds starting now. One. Then of course, as always, we'll pick up speed on each round. That's five. Six, nine, and ten. Take a breath. And we'll do some raises.
and a breath. And big circle all around the clock. And breath raises. I mean, um, presses. And come on down and take a couple of breaths. We're going to move. The squats into second position here. We're going to start with some raises in three, two, one. And some squats. Grand Central Station. And I'm going to go through the middle for the around the clock. And a breath. And military raises. Uh, presses. <laughs> Jeez. Four. Eight. Nine. And ten. When we get the last round coming up, take some breaths. I've got a battle going on to my left here between the cats. The dog is intrigued. And here we go with some raises faster than ever before. Ten and a breath. And some squats. Come on up. Take a breath. And we'll go around the clock. Okay, <laughs> take a breath. And finally, some presses. And 10. All right. Very good. Whew. Lots of distractions, sorry. Recover your breath because um, we're going to do a very relaxing breath today. The old ha breath. And that is where we breathe in through the nose very deeply, three dimensionally. Feel everything expand from the belly up to the chest. The ribs are coming out at the side. Full inhale. And then exhale through the mouth, making the ha sound, and try to do it for at least 10 seconds. 
And we're gonna do four rounds of that. You ready? And then rub the hands together. Feel that chi forming as you make a chi ball. And let it dance you around. Shifting weight from one child to the other like water flowing. And center. Two breaths. <laughs> we'll open our hearts. And pause on that inhale, exhale, send it out. And center, two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. And bend down and scoop it up. Um, hinge down, I should say. And ah, <laughs> yes. What there goes the ball. All right. Well, thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Sorry for the distractions here. No. Uh, Wonderful to see your menagerie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. You too. All right. Y'all, I'm going to be doing some rolling if you're with me. And going to hit to the floor with a ball, if I can find it, after the cat. Bagged it around. Where did it go? Where did you put that ball, Mr. Cat? Well, we'll have to get another one. And I'm going to 
Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. He's got a ball and a roller. And we can do some neck and shoulder work today, starting by putting the ball. Right. Uh, this one is a little too slippery. Um, below the neck. Not on the neck. And roll around on one side. And then go over to the rear deltoid on the shoulder and roll around there. If you find a particularly tight spot, you can always just lean into it. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, and then we go to the other side and do the same. Ah, yikes! Let me do it. And three, two, one, and then over to the rear deltoid again. Three, two, one. All right. Coming up, we're going to get the roller. And then pull go. There it is. All right. And. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to put the roller on the uh, hairline, on the skull. And turn the head to the right and do four knots uh, rotations in one direction, rotations, and four in the other. And then do eight knots. And then look left. Again, you want the roller on the skull just below the earlobe there, but not on the neck, and do four rotations in one direction and four in the other. Okay. 
And then do your knots, eight knots. And then come to the middle, make sure the roller again is at the hairline. And you're gonna do eight figure eights, starting in one direction for four, and then the other for the other four. And then when you're done, make sure the roller is secure with the hairline. You might want to push it back just a touch and do eight knots. And then just roll your ear, your, your um, head back and forth on the roller, side to side. And I should have done this before we started so we could tell if there was any difference. But I didn't, but it's a good flexibility move anyway. And hopefully that controller is feeling better. <laughs> 